Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and today I'm going to show you how to add a window in the game engine. So, I recommend having Photoshop because that's what I'm going to use. If you don't have Photoshop, then use GIMP. I don't know how to use it, but if you do, then you should use that. And if you don't know how to use either, then just get a texture off the internet. And if you do get a texture off the internet, make sure it's a PNG file. Okay, and another thing, you know. Please comment, rate, and subscribe to my page, add me as a friend, and all that good stuff. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to open Photoshop, and you want to add a new file, and put this 800 pixels by 800 pixels, and turn the resolution up to 300, and make sure that the mode is RGB color, and that the content right here is transparent. If you don't have Photoshop and you're just going to get a template off the internet, then you can just fast forward this part. So you want to have your brush tool open, and you want to have it at 19. Make sure the opacity and flow is 100 and the mode is normal. So the first thing you want to do is you want to click up here, or in the middle somewhere, and you want to press shift and go down. And what shift does, it makes you just have a clear straight line without you going left or right. It's a perfect line. And then you want to click and then press shift and go over. Because if you press shift and then click, it joins. Like, yeah. So you want to go here, left click, shift, down. Same here. Same here. And same here. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So that's good. Go to the file. Save as. Window. PNG. That's good. Save it. Okay. Go over to Blender. Delete the queue. And add a plane. Split the views. Right click. Or split area. Click somewhere. Go here to UV image editor. Go to tab. Uh, you can go to edit mode with tab and for the next part if you don't know how to UV map I suggest checking out my other tutorial UV mapping and texturing you want to open the image open window open image so you want to press U unwrap and window you're going to go into textured mode with Alt Z or with this button I just go here with like that and as you can see, it's not see-through, and the back part, you can't even see at all. So you want to go here to texture face mode, right here. And you have to still be in edit mode, because if you're not, it's just multis. So go into edit mode, texture face. You want to press two sides, so that it, the texture is on both sides. And then you want to press alpha. And now it's perfectly see-through. So if you press P... Play comes out like that, and you can see through it. So, I'm gonna add a wall to it. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another plane G, and you want to hold control so it's exact. Shift D, Shift D, and Shift D is duplicate, and then you want to shift right click all these three, Shift D, and move it over. Press these two, Shift right click, Shift D, hold control while you do all this. And then you want to shift right click all of these, press control J, and that makes all of them into one. And then you want to load a new texture. I'm going to use the church stone wall. Okay. And then you want to press tab and press U. And instead of unwrap, you want to press project from view, bounds, so that it's exact here. Give that a second. and it's perfect so I'm gonna add a box a cube at the bottom so wait no forget that go into object mode and add a cube pull it down size it down view top I'm gonna go to world settings turn it black and let's check it out and looks pretty good. 
I'm gonna turn the specularity off here, so just go no specular, that's the way. And that's how you get a really easy window. So that's all there is to it, you know. Please rate and subscribe my stuff, add me as a friend, and all that good stuff. And keep watching my tutorials and videos. Thanks for watching.